What's up everybody, the Hog92 here, rolling straight from the last video, because that was the plan to begin with. Yeah, Zoo Tycoon. I bet you're thinking, oh, he's going to be playing Zoo Tycoon again. Uh, that's great, really I'm looking forward to seeing more of this footage. No, that's not what I'm really going to be doing. This is more of a complaint video, because this game is rubbish. Oh, what's happened here? I didn't pause it. Did I know I said rubbish? This game is rubbish. No. Yeah, this... Like, as good as it looks, this is not a very good game. As far as games go, as far as tycoon games go, this is not a very good game. And I'm going to get into reasons why, because it just annoys me. You know what I mean? This is called Zoo Tycoon. It's not. You know what I mean? I've played the game for long enough now to uh, to get a decent impression of this. And I just don't think it's very good. I really don't. Uh, despite it being really pretty, there is... It's very linear. It's It's very, very linear. Like... Let's just go to uh, Tycoon. Let's get to the first point. Let's get to the first point first, as you would. This is the uh, the Tycoon view, which is what the bit, the most nostalgic. I mean, this is a big zoo. The most nostalgic people from the uh, previous zoo Tycoon were like, "Oh, that looks good." You know what I mean? It's uh, you know, it's a nice looking zoo. There's loads of trees in that. That's the maps. Where's the entrance to the zoo? Oh, here it is. No entrance, obviously. It's just people. Just I don't even know where they turn up from. To be totally honest, there's no there's no entrance. Where do these these guests must spawn? So they, they normally come on a bus, like on a, you know, a theme park world or something, but these guests just spawn because they kind of leave. There's no leaving on... Look at this. There is no leaving. I've only just noticed that now. There is no leaving this place. You're trapped here. It's like fucking purgatory. Stuck in the zoo forever. I've just noticed that now. I don't know how I haven't noticed that before. So that's one complaint that I did. I've just chalked up. You kind of leave. You kind of get in. So, you know, there's an entrance to what? <laughs> Nothing. Right? This guy, this janitor here, right, is another complaint... Like, I'm going to be doing this in bullet points, but I'll just roll it off the tongue. This janitor does nothing. Right? You hire the janitors. Okay, they're meant to be good stars. Wait, okay, let's just watch. There's a bin there. Look at that bin. Look at it stinking. Not going to not gonna clean up the bin. Oh, if you know... Is there something on the floor there? Oh, there's nothing on the floor. You're just sweeping up. There's a dirty bin right here. Not going to clean up this bin. That's what your job is. You know what I mean? Janitor. You clean up the bins. Nope. Turns out the janitors don't clean up the bins, so when you go to, uh, is it down on the D-pad? No, it isn't. If you go LT on the D-pad, oh look, the uh, tidiness is really bad. Well, you've got three, I have three levels, I have three, three-star janitors, cause, or maybe five, right? But they don't clean up the bins, you do that. So, you know, that's that's going to take up a lot of your time, going around the zoo, looking for, you don't place the bins. You know, you've got to just go around, cleaning up every single bin that you come across. How is that fun? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you got to be in charge of your zoo, yeah, brilliant. That's something that you wanted to do on Zoo Tycoon. Click on the bins and empty them. Why? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to go to another bin and just see if it's full. Because it will be. Because, you know, they fill up ridiculously fast. Uh, you don't see anyone using them. They just do. They just fill up. There's such a lit. There's so no amount of... Look at this bin. There's, like, no amount of... No amount of, uh, like animation or anything that they're, they're just these people are just zombies that don't do anything with anything like i never see people putting stuff in the bin if i see one i'll be surprised right i'm going to keep going on about this uh what's what's what building is this breeding center yeah i'll get on to that point in a minute another bin uh, look at full you clean up the bins what's the point of having janitors are they even what is the point there's no point right empty this bin this is, i mean you call it zoo tycoon you might as well call it bin tycoon that's basically what it is. Bin Tycoon. Let's get on with it. Oh, I've almost levelled up as well. I'm looking forward to seeing... Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I'll get on to that point as well. Right, here's the... Uh, here's the... What's this? Is this the soda place? Soda... Soft drink stand. Yep. Yeah. I'm not being funny, but on previous two Tycoon games, there'd be hues out the arse for, if you have very little of these. I've got one of these. Again, next to nobody here. Like it's meant to be a busy place. You'd think more people would use it. There's never a queue. One, you'd walk up to it. One person will then you'd stand here for ages. Nobody'll come back. You know what I mean? They turn up when you turn up, and then they'll like leave. Like they're scared of you. There's park benches. People will spawn there, but they'll, you'll never see people get up or sit down on them. They'll be sitting there and they'll sit there for the rest of eternity. You know what I mean? They'll just sit there. It's not. That's not interactive at all. Why can't you, like, why can't the wave you or something? Look at these, they don't give a sh mindless. Do they even care that you're there? Nope, just going to walk past. It's almost like you're a ghost. 
you're the ghost who looks after uh, the zoo. It just winds me up uncontrollably. No oh, tigers. Yeah. The animals are just just there. You know what I mean? The uh, the um, the zoo part of this game, the zoo part, is is tedious. It, I'm gonna get onto another point now. So move on to the next point because um, as I, I was, I'd, I'd come across another thing I didn't like when I was getting on my main point. Right, you know what? So now this this zoo looks quite nice. You know what I mean? It's all, uh, you know, it's quite big. Got a lovely amount of uh, trees, as I said before. You notice how everything's curved. You notice how everything is curved. You know, like this this road, this path's curved. You couldn't curve paths on the. Uh, oh, there's another bin. I'm sure I emptied that like two seconds ago. I'm sure I did. So I was looking at these two. You can't. You you couldn't curve paths on the. Uh, Computer versions, and if you noticed, oh yeah, well, of um, to make my, to make this game even more, you know, fun, and make it, you know, one of the best games ever is that you can't customize your paths. You can customize what they look like. But you can't build your paths. You can't build your paths at all. So, why? Why can't you build your paths? So I'll just let me just demonstrate. Let me just let me just do. Well, what can I do here? Let's just pick this up. Let's just pick this teddy bear place up, because no one likes teddy bears anyway. Move. Pick it up, right. Put it all the way over here. There you go. The Zoo Association are disappointed that you didn't do the center. Oh, I don't give a shit. I didn't do a challenge. Challenges on this game or another thing. But I don't, I don't need challenge. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Why? So, I'm so uppity about this game. I mean, it's not really... It's not really for... I've got another... Oh, look at this. Why couldn't I design my own road to get here? Now, everyone, now if you want to you tell you where you got to you make the walk, make the walk. You know what I mean? Right, I've got a challenge. I don't give a shit about these. Right, I've got a challenge now. I'll talk about the challenges while I'm complaining about the roads. The paths, even. Release... No, no, no. Magazine photograph. I'm, the magazine. These challenges. You only get three. You get three at a time. You get a certain amount of time to do them. The magazine ones are the pissiest of them all. Of all challenges, you get a, you get a magazine asking for a photograph of an animal you have in your zoo. You go, oh, what animal is it? Meerkat, right? And then you go, whoop. Once I find them, you got to find them, of course, because I don't I don't label my stuff. It's. A, I know the meerkats are a mini zoo. I'm going to be popping them out here. That's a toilet. Um, is this the meerkats? Is this the lemurs? They're clearly lemurs. I might have to... Uh, wait, is this it? No, that's another toilet. Is this it here? Are these meerkats? These are indeed meerkats, I think. Are these red pandas? I can't tell what these are. I think I don't think they're meerkats. Have I got a meerkat? I'm fairly certain I do because every challenge you get about photographs is of an animal you already have. Oh, there they are. There's one on the rock. So what you do is you whip out your camera and you go snap. Beautiful that. You know what I mean? That's a nice photo of that. Yep. Yeah. Well done. You get your money. Don't need the money anymore. You know what I mean? Money just rolls in. You can't spend it, really. Right. Nobody at the burger stand. Typical. There's, there's so many things that I don't like about this game. Like, it took me... That video that I did, I really enjoyed it then. Did I fail another challenge? Ah, oh, concession storage. I don't, concession shortage. Oh, oh well, shame. Um, I've got this person here looking after these tigers. But, you know... Oh, yeah, there's... What's this? What was the problem there? Habitat happiness. Well, too bad. Um, another thing that winds me up, you know, I'll put that... Uh, I put where did I put that thing? Look at over there. Yeah, I put that all the way over there, right? These animals. This has become. I was I was saying it was a funny thing how the the giraffes were like, oh, if this wall was really here, I'd say I'm leaving. That's what I said. Yeah, well, this is the wall for all the animals because the animals are docile little shits. They aren't lions. These aren't lions. These are just basically animated like like robotic lions. They've got no sort of personality or anything. On the old one, on the old Zoo Tycoon, this is the old one, it's quite old now, on an older PC, it would work on a feckin' Windows 2000 PC, right? The animals would get out, and they would go mental. You can't do that on this one. It's not a Zoo Tycoon game. The, th the, the thing about a Tycoon game is that things have to go wrong, things go wrong, nothing goes wrong. That's what annoys me about this game, nothing goes wrong. Like, really. Like, 
this this habitat here, right? Because you, it's hard to put into words here. Right, you have this you have this exhibit, okay? This is a this is a small exhibit. You can't build your own. No, you can't they took that away. Come on. I mean you wanted to build your own exhibit. Come on, you didn't really want it, did you? No. So you, you have pre built exhibits that you buy. Small, medium and large. You have three choices. Three compared to customizing your own compared to customizing your own habitats and cages. You have the choice of three and they're pre built. They're pre built. They're this size, a little bit bigger or a little bit bigger, right? Then you put in you put this is the next gen consoles, so there can't be any restrictions. They've just made them that way. You put in these shitty things like oh, you, you can put something there. You can put something there. You, they've got you've got like three spots to put things down, and you've got to choose between giving them water, giving them food, giving them something to play with. You know what I mean? Yeah, brilliant. You could put anything you want in the computer version. Why is this? This isn't Zoo Tycoon. Game. This is Zoo Game or Bin Tycoon. Take your pick. <laughs> 